Hey everyone, I'm going to do a quick video on um, dragging in objects from the object library and adjusting them with the attributes inspector. So I'm going to create a new Xcode project. Um, I have the platform is iOS and the application is app. I'm going to click next. Give it a name. I'm going to call mine Hello World. Uh, make sure that your interface is set to storyboard and the language is Swift. Alright, and now we have our new project. I'm going to start in the main dot storyboard. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the object library, which is this um, plus sign in the kind of upper right hand corner. You can see when I hover over it, it will say library. And I'm going to open that up and I'm going to grab a button and I'm going to drag it on um, to my main dot storyboard. Uh, and uh, next up I want to adjust it so I make it a little bit larger and I'm going to go over here to the attributes inspector. The attributes inspector is um, these three lines with the sliders and you can see uh, when it is when I hover over it it does say um, show the attributes inspector so you can tell that's what it is. Um, the first thing I'm going to change is the font make it larger and then it's kind of hard to see that so I think I'm going to adjust the background uh, background colors towards the bottom down here it says background default is it set to uh, no background I'm just going to make it maybe a gray color and then it's a little bit easier to see that button Um, so this is using the attributes inspector to adjust this um, button. I'm also going to change the text on this button to say like click here. And when I hit enter, <clears throat> the text on that button will say click here. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an image. So I'm going to open my assets.xassets folder. I'm going to grab an image from Finder and just drop it in there. Um, I called my image pic, but uh, you can call yours what you want to. It's good to have a short name um, so that if you're programming with it or you're calling it in the program, it's easier to refer to it. Uh, Next thing, I am going to go back to my object library and I'm going to grab a UI image, image view. Here's the image view. I'm going to drop it down below my button. Um, and I want this image to be the picture that I just put in my assets.xassets folder. So I have my UI image view selected. And I'm going to go over here to the attributes inspector once again. And the first one um, that says image, I'm going to do drop down on there. And I'm going to find the picture that I just put into my assets.xassets folder so that um, that will be the correct image. The next thing I want to do is I want to adjust the size of this. So instead of in the attributes inspector, I'm going to go to the size inspector, which is just to the right of the attributes inspector. It's this um, triangle shape. And inside there, I can easily adjust the width and the height. So I'm going to make mine 100 uh, by 100. And that will resize my image. One thing that's good to do um, while you are um, coding this is you want to test it out every now and then, just make sure it's running all right. So up here where it says iPod 7th generation, I'm going to change that to um, 
iPhone 11 is this will match my iPhone 11 main dot storyboard right here so it should look the same um, next up I'm gonna hit the play button and that will open up my simulator and I can check to see uh, how it looks and it looks like uh, it is working so that's good I'm going to stop this all right I am going to move these down a little bit and I am going to add a label right above um, inside of that label, I'm going to click on the Attributes Inspector and I'm going to change the text instead of saying label to be Hello World. And you can see it's pretty easy to drop on a label and change the text with the Attributes Inspector. Next, I'm going to show you how to change the text programmatically. So, once again, we're going to grab a label and drop it into our main dot storyboard. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect it to my viewcontroller.swift file. So I'm going to open up another editor pane here. And in this editor pane, I'm going to click on the viewcontroller.swift file. So I should have, um, I'm going to close these tabs a little bit so it's a little bit easier to see. Um, here in this editor pane, I have my main.storyboard. And in this editor pane right here, I have my um, viewcontroller.swift file. And that's important because we're going to um, change this label programmatically. We have to connect this label. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down control. I'm going to click on this label and I'm going to drag this line somewhere above view did load. Um, so I always do my outlets above view to load and my actions below view to load. And this is going to be an outlet. I'm going to call this um, class label. Um, you can't have any spaces in your name. And usually I use camel case, meaning the first letter is lowercase. And the next letter, the next word has a capital letter in it. So it's called camel case because it has bumps in it like a camel would. All right, um, I type is UI label storage week, and I'm going to connect that. I'm going to give a little bit of space um, after that label. So when this view loads, I want this label to be um, the name of my favorite class. Uh, so I am going to start with where I want the information to end up and I want the information to end up in this label so I'm going to say the name of that label so class label and then what part of the label do I want to change I'm going to do dot text because I want to change the text of the label and I'm going to set that equal to design um, because design is my favorite class and so once again we want to run that and test it oh and just to be clear, I I wrote this class label dot text is equal to design. I wrote that inside of this view did load function. So this view did load function is going to run as soon as the view loads. So when we test this out, we should see that this label um, that we've entered in right here, which currently says label, will say design uh, when the view loads. So I'm going to press this play button here just to test it. And here you can say it says DE. So I think it's trying to say design is just cut off a little bit. So I'm going to stop the simulator. I'm going to make that a little bit longer. And I'm just going to press play one more time. There we go. We got it to say design. So this should show you how to add objects and adjust them using the attributes inspector and also how to add in an object connect it to the viewcontroller.swift file and then change that um, programmatically uh, to have different different attributes changed um, with the code okay i hope that was helpful bye